All right, so this is a hot topic. Is AI going to wreck the music industry? Let me put it this way. If you have seen The Matrix or Terminator and you think of a world with Skynet or those machines like Agent Smith and humanity is just crushed, do you think that the music industry is doing pretty well? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that the music industry somehow survives the apocalypse. And so that's my quick take on AI in the music industry. It will kill it just like it will kill everything else in the world. But for real, I have been freaked out about AI ever since like 2014 when I read a Wait But Why piece that basically told me that AI was going to end the world, most likely. And since then, I have just not wanted to think about it. But then, of course, in the past 12 months, ChatGPT comes out, everybody starts talking about AI, and you kind of have to think about it, right? So in this video, I'm going to break down how I realistically see it impacting the music industry. Long term, maybe it ends the world. Finger, fingers crossed. Um, but short term, I do think it'll have some tangible impacts. And I also do think there are some things that it can't replicate for now. So let's get into it. All right, quick disclaimer interlude. I am an AI expert. I am somebody who has a PhD in machine learning and computer science. And so I am highly qualified to talk about these things. And all that stuff was totally not true. I'm just a guy who has read some articles online. So take all of my opinions with a grain of salt. I am just telling you what I think. All right, so first thing, when we're talking about how AI is going to impact the music industry, I think we have to define what do we mean by AI, right? So obviously there are dictionary definitions of what AI is and it's kind of confusing. But I think for the purposes of our definition here, we just want to qualify like what does AI do? What are the things that AI is doing that make it AI? And I would say it's anything that's generating a creative work. Like you're just inputting a prompt and AI is generating the art, basically, if you call it art, debate, debate. So practically what this means right now is that you can create songs very fast. You can create the lyrics with ChatGPT. OpenAI has another software that can create like a composition. Um, there are AI voice models that can replicate somebody's voice or make a new AI modeled voice. So basically AI, quote unquote, can make all of the components of a song. And by extension, AI can just make songs much more quickly than people. Probably in the short term, like it's probably not that far fetched to say that in a year, two years, three years, you could literally just type in a prompt for a song to an AI and it could spit back a pop song that sounds as polished as something Ed Sheeran would make today. So if that is what AI is doing in the short term, then what are the repercussions of that on the music industry? So I think there's good news and bad news from that. Let's start with the bad news first because then we can end on a positive note. Bad news with this, I think, is that anything where you don't have a relational component to the art, AI is going to be able to make that type of art and pretty much render humans obsolete. So the area that comes to mind quickest for me is sync licensing. So rather than people making music to be used in commercials and background music and YouTube videos like the little tune I have at the beginning of this video, um, rather than you know having to license a song for those things, I think it's pretty likely that in the near future, you'll just be able to go to some AI website and you'll say, I want to type in, a, I want a background song that's bouncy, has some hand claps, um, has some maybe woes in the background, whoa, and is at 130 beats per minute, and I want it to have uh, like a, a happy vibe. And you'll type that in, and bam, AI will just generate the perfect background track, and you'll be able to tweak it. You'll say like, uh, actually, could you make it a little bit less percussive or whatever? And AI will just keep working with you and give you like a custom created background track that you'll be able to use in your art. And I think this will have a huge impact on the micro sync industry first. So background music for commercials, people who have been getting royalties and licensing fees for that. I think that's going to happen pretty quickly. And I think it makes sense that AI will eat that industry. Yum, yum. And I think it could work up from there to like the sync placements and TV shows. Um, but I'll get into in a little bit why I don't think it'll eat that quite as much. I do think it'll have some impact. Basically, any area where you're not paying super close attention to a song, I think AI stands to have a pretty big impact. So where I don't think AI is going to have as big an impact as maybe some people think it will is on artists themselves. So I think that there is just intrinsic value to the relationship that fans have with an artist, and I think that relationship will be hard to replicate with AI. I don't think, like, people are still going to try, but I think it'll be hard. So here's what I mean. Remember when Taylor Swift put out her album Midnight's and, like, billions of people streamed that album? 
Why did billions of people stream Taylor Swift's album? Was it because solely because the music sounded a certain way or said a certain thing? No. The reason that people streamed Taylor Swift's album when it came out is because they're invested in Taylor Swift the person. Like they've known her since she was pretty much a teenager. They've known whatever the seven albums she's put out. They're invested in her on a relational level. Like they like Taylor Swift. And so it's not just about the music. Anybody could put out music that sounds kind of like Taylor Swift, but it's not going to do as well as Taylor Swift's music because they aren't the person. And that relational aspect is really tough to duplicate. It takes a lot of work, and it takes a person at the center of it. You can kind of see this playing out in one of the big AI news stories over the last month, which was a song that somebody made that sounded like a song by The Weeknd and Drake. And there are all these comments like, oh, this AI, this AI song sounds better than what The Weeknd and Drake are doing. And eventually, uh, the label sued, and that song got taken down. But it was this big deal, oh, AI can basically duplicate our pop stars. But here's the thing. Nobody cares about that song if it doesn't sound like The Weeknd and Drake. If they had just made a random AI voice that wasn't attached to any person and they'd put it out on the internet, like people might have thought, oh, it's kind of catchy, but it doesn't get nearly the hype that it got by being attached to The Weeknd and Drake. And so you can still see that like the relational aspect of fan to person is still at the core of that, even though they made like an AI song. And while AI will be able to make music really efficiently, I don't think it will be able to replicate the human to human relationship, at least for the next, hopefully like three to five years, we'll see. Now that said, I do think that a lot of like less relational roles in the industry are going to be pretty hugely impacted. So if you are a session musician, uh, maybe in three years, AI will be able to like make the music that you are going to make in the studio and execs will just be able to get that music by typing in a few prompts. If you are a songwriter and you're getting paid publishing or you're doing co-writes and things, Maybe AI starts to take over that role within the next few years. Maybe. I do think that the less relational you are in the music industry, the more likely it is that your role will be impacted by AI. So if you are an indie artist listening to this, I think this is actually decent news because most of you are most concerned with building a fan base and a community around your music. And that is something that I don't think that AI is going to touch until it takes over the whole world and we all are at its mercy. So I'd say just keep digging into your artist's identity, your artist's brand, your relationships with the people in your community. That stuff is valuable as an end in itself, and it's also something that ChatGPT can't do. And here's my last thought on this. Effectively, what AI does is just makes it possible to create a ton more art way faster than ever before. And if you're an artist, maybe that feels a little worrisome. Like, there's more noise out there. There's more songs. Uh, A machine can now write what I could write. Well, the, the fact is that that was already true. There was already a ton of noise out there. There was already a ton of songs out there. And the fact is that any other songwriter could have written what you were going to write. Uh, any other like guitarist could have come up with the riff you were going to write. So what makes you different is the fact that you're you. You have your experiences, your perspective, and the fact that you're doing it. I think literally just making music in itself is worthwhile. The process matters just as much as the product. The experiences that you bring into it matter. And so even if like hypothetically somebody else or now a machine could make music that maybe you could have made too, does that really matter? Like the point is just to make music. That's it. It connects you with other people and that's an end in itself. So hopefully these thoughts were helpful. Hopefully in five years, we are not all living in the matrix or maybe we already are. I don't know. But Again, take all my thoughts with a grain of salt. I am just a guy who reads AI articles like you. And my hope is that whatever you do, whatever you think about AI, you keep making music because your music matters. Here's wishing you good luck. 